Hello, it's Sia from Theo's Tech Tips, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a WebSocket server in Java. Let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is to open up your code editor and make a new project. And once you're in, you want to open up your pom.xml file, and you want to add a dependencies tag. And you want to add the Java WebSocket package from Too Tall Nate. So once you're done that, you want to make a new Java class, and you're going to call it Socket Server. And this is going to extend from WebSocket Server. And once you're done that, you want to make a new constructor, and you want to add a parameter of type inet socket address. And in your constructor's body, you want to call super and pass in your address. So the way this library works is that you override certain methods, and those will be your listeners. For example, to open up a listener for when a WebSocket gets connected, I could just override the onOpen method. And I could just print a message. And now we're going to do the same thing with the onClose method. And we're going to print another message. So to set up a listener to receive a string, we can override another method called onMessage. And we can just print the message to the console. And another method we want to override is the onError method. And this will get fired when the WebSocket detects that there's an error. And another method we want to override is on start, And this gets fired when the WebSocket server starts successfully. And now back in your main class, in order to start our WebSocket server, we just need to make a new variable that has socket server and pass in an inet socket address. And for the host, if you want it to be accessible from all devices in your network, you can specify 0, .0, .0, .0 as your host. And then you can just specify whatever port you want. And to start the server, we can just type socket server dot start. And now we can test it by running the main Java file. And you can see that it says WebSocket server started successfully. So now we can open up our WebSocket test tool. And we can enter ws colon slash slash because ws is the protocol. And we can just specify localhost and our port. And it should say opened, and it should also say new connection down to the console. So now we can send a message, and you can see it shows up down here. And if you want to close it, we can just click on close, and it will show closed. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'm Theo from Theo's Tech Tips, and I'll see you next time. Bye.